city is making changes to their use of force policy. Even changing what they call it, but they say it's not tied to any specific case. Anchor Blaine Tullison was there for the announcement and joins us live with the changes that CMPD is preparing to make. Allison Damani, this is the new policy right here, once called the use of force policy. It will now be referred to as the response to resistance policy. The chief announced that they updated this policy. He made that announcement this morning at the headquarters here uptown behind me. And some members of the community were here for this announcement, including the Citizens Review Board, uh, the Safe Coalition, NAACP, all here because these were some of the groups that responded to the chief's request for recommendations to make this policy better. Uh, the chief made that request back in the spring, uh, back in March, not long after CMPD shot and killed Dan Curse Franklin uh, at a Burger King on Beatty's Ford Road. Uh, the chief wanted to point out that his police department has always tried to apply uh, methods to de-escalate situations when they are responding to a call and that they have had great success doing that, but he said it still wasn't quite enough. Out of about 8,000 armed encounters this year, all but three, we managed to successfully de-escalate. I think that's huge, but it's not perfect, and for this city, it's not good enough. We continue the work. Uh, in this, this morning were some mothers uh, who we spoke to who uh, lost their children uh, in situations with police. So they were here to see this. They were invited to the police department. A couple bullet points out of this po policy I'll point out. The term de-escalation is clearly defined in here in more detail than ever before. Less lethal force, there are more guidelines for that. Taser use as well. And some guidelines for officers giving medical care to someone in a situation where they they've had to respond using some type of force. And of course, we're going to go through all of this to see exactly what the differences are between this new policy and the old policy. And uh, once the groups involved in recommending changes get to look at the new policy, we're going to talk to them about whether this lives up to their standard. Back to you.